Hi folks, today we're going to talk about free fall. Now we're not referring to free fall like skydivers refer to free fall. They refer to free fall as uh, the time uh, after they jump out of the plane and before they open their parachute, that's considered free fall. And we're not referring specifically to that, but we're talking about when an object is just falling. Okay, so um, I know you love my beautiful artwork, so I just felt like I had to draw you a couple more pictures. Uh, if an apple falls from a tree, you know it's safe if you went under it and caught it. If you saw an apple falling from a tree, you'd run under it and catch it and you'd be fine. But if you saw an apple falling from a hot air balloon, you'd probably know not to catch that apple. Why? Because you know that this apple with a hot air balloon is traveling a lot faster than this apple. This apple only has several meters to fall. This one may have several hundred meters to fall. And that's going to have an impact on how fast it's going once it, once it hits the ground. Um, that's really important, and we're going to talk about why in just a minute. One of the things that we're going to assume, though, is we're going to neglect right now air resistance. We're going to ignore air resistance. We know air, exist air resistance, uh, that it, it is a reality and that there is air resistance. Personally, and this is a little bit of an immature view, but I view air resistance kind of as friction between the air and an object. But we're going to pretend like there is no air resistance for our discussion, okay? So air resistance is, is negligible, as we say in physics. So we're going to talk about falling objects. It's gravity that causes that apple to accelerate once it begins to fall. Gravity. Gravity makes it accelerate. An object that's moving under the influence of gravity only, so the only force that's acting on it is gravity, is considered in free fall. So that's going to be our definition of free fall. Unlike what the skydivers say, um, our free fall, our physics definition of free fall, is an object that's under the influence of only one thing, and that's gravity. Okay? So now we're on the same page with that. So let's pretend like we could put a um, speedometer, if you will, on that apple. And every second, we're going to measure how fast it's going. So when it's still, when it's still in the tree and, or in the hot air balloon or whatever, zero time, zero seconds. Elapsed time is how long, how much time has passed since it started moving. Okay, since it started moving. And instantaneous speed, we talked about instantaneous speed before. It's the speed at a specific second, at, at an instant in time, an immeasurably small period of time. So after one second, it's going 10 meters per second. After two seconds, 20 meters per second. After three seconds, 30 meters per second. Are you seeing a pattern here? After four seconds, 40 meters per second. After five seconds, it's been falling for five seconds now, it's going 50 meters per second. So whatever number we put in for time, 10 times that in terms of seconds is how fast it's going to be going. Now, it looks to me like every second, the apple goes 10 meters per second faster than it did the second before. We use instantaneous speed instead of average speed because if we want to take the average speed right here, we'd add these two together, 0 and 10 is 10, divided by 2 is 5 meters per second. So you see, average speed and instantaneous speed are sometimes totally different things. So we're referring to instantaneous speed. Every second, it goes 10 meters per second faster. That means we have acceleration. That gain in speed per second that's acceleration. Acceleration is mathematically defined as change in velocity over time interval. But with free fall, it's falling in a straight line, isn't it? And if it's falling in a straight line, we can use the term speed instead of velocity. And all of a sudden, things are a whole lot easier for us. So for this example, acceleration, and, and actually for all free fall, Acceleration is change in speed. Remember that delta, that triangle means change. Change in speed over the time interval. We said that it went 10 meters per second faster for every one second. This is red, 10 meters per second per second. Yes, you say it twice. You may also write it like this and say 10 meters per second squared. And what you're saying is for every one second in time, it goes 10 meters per second faster than it was the previous second. A lot of seconds in there, I know. So acceleration is defined as how, fa how fast velocity is changing. Acceleration is a change in velocity over the time interval. But with free fall, we can substitute the word speed for velocity since it's going in a straight direction. 
And how do we know something's in free fall? The only force acting on it is gravity. That's our definition. The acceleration of an object in free fall is about 10 meters per second squared. If you need to be very, very accurate, use 9.8 meters per second squared. It is slightly different at different places in the Earth. Uh, that's why we pretty much just use 9.8 if we're being accurate, or 10 if we're rounding. For our purposes, 10 is fine. 10 meters per second squared is fine. And you know what's really interesting? It's for an object. It doesn't say how big the object is. It doesn't say how much it weighs. It doesn't matter. We're going we're gonna to address that in a little bit. But what I want you to know is the free fall of an object, or the acceleration of an object in free fall is about 10 meters per second squared. How do you calculate instantaneous speed? It's acceleration times elapsed time. It's acceleration times elapsed time. So we use g for this number when gravity is the only thing acting on it. So instead of a or a sub g, we substitute in the letter g. From now on, g means 10 meters per second squared. If you need to be real accurate, you can do 9.8. But g is 10 meters per second squared. So instantaneous speed, or because it's going straight up and down velocity, is equal to acceleration due to gravity times time. This is assuming you're starting from rest, and you're moving in a straight line. 